Hey guys, so in the last video we looked at the procedure to how to solve complex recurrence relations and now we're going to have the example of how to actually solve it. So let's say you have an plus 2an minus 1 plus 2an minus 2 is equal to 0. And the conditions we're given are that a0 is equal to 1 and a1 is equal to 3. Alright, so our first step was to divide by the lowest a n which is right here a n minus 2 again I'm gonna rewrite this as r to the n so r to the power of n plus 2 to the power of r minus 1 plus 2 to the power of r n minus 2 so what I did is I took the n's and I put them as powers and I replaced the a's with r so imagine the r as any variable like x or z but I, I like to take R, so it stands for root. Alright, so now this looks more familiar, like um, a quadratic formula. So we're going to divide by the lowest n minus 2, which is, or n, which is n minus 2 right here. So when you divide by it, you should get R squared plus 2R plus 2 is equal to 0. And all I did was I divided, so divide by r to the power of n minus 2. Alright, so now we have to find the roots for this equation here. And I already know that um, there is no answer for it, so we have to use the formula minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and that will give us our roots so here is a this is b and this is c so the first number is a the second number is b the third number is c so in our case a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 2 all right so let's start replacing into the quadratic formula here. So r is equal to minus b, so minus 2, plus minus the square root of 4, which is 2 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 2, divided by 2 times 1. And that is equal to negative 2 plus minus the square root of well, you have 4 minus 8 here, so the square root of minus 8 divided by 2. Actually, it's negative 4, since you have um, 4 minus 8, and that will give you minus 4. So minus 2 plus minus. Alright, so now we have a negative square root. So square root of a negative number, so negative x. And since um, 4 is 4, ca we can take the square root of 4. Um, we're going to put an i next to the answer. So the square root of negative 4 is 2i. So 2i. The i just stands for the negative. You can think about it that way. And you're going to have that divided by 2. Alright. This can be rewritten as when you divide everything by 2, you get minus 1 plus minus i. Or 1i. Alright, so our first root is going to be plus, our second root is going to be minus. So r1 is equal to negative 1 plus i, and our second root is going to be negative 1 minus i. Okay, so now we find our roots for, the, for this equation. So this equation here, r squared uh, plus 2r plus 2, will give us these two roots here. Okay, now our next step is to plug them into the equation. So our equation is a n is equal to a times r1 to the power of n plus b of r2 to the power of n. So we know that what r1 and r2 are, so we're going to just plug them in to get a n is equal to a times negative 1 plus i to the power of n plus b times negative 1 minus i to the power of n. 
Okay, now we need to get rid of the imaginary part. So we're going to take each root separately. So we're going to take, let's divide the page into half. Again, this is not the perfect line, but... Okay, so we have negative 1 plus i on one side, and negative 1 minus i on the other side. So what we're going to do is, since x plus i y is equal to r cos theta plus sine theta, or i sine theta, we're going to use that formula. Okay, so we have our x is equal to negative 1 on this side, and y is equal to 1. And over here we have x is equal to negative 1 and our y is equal to negative 1. Okay, so let's start plugging in the numbers. So r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared and that gives us r is equal to the square root of 2. Okay, and theta, so we have theta or tan theta is equal to y divided by x so 1 over negative 1 which is equal to negative 1 we have tan theta of negative 1 well tan theta of negative 1 that is the same as theta is equal to negative 45 or negative pi over 4 so negative 45 degrees or negative pi over 4 and on the right hand side now we're going to do the same thing so r is equal to um, the square root of 2 and tan theta is equal to negative 1 over negative 1 well that's equal to pi over 4 okay now we're going to replace them into this this equation so we're going this this equation means that negative 1 plus i is the same as the square root of 2 times well, cos negative pi over 4 so cos of negative pi over 4 plus i sine negative pi over 4 so that's what the first root is so this is r1 and r2 is equal to negative 1 minus i that will be equal to the square root of 2 we got that from here times cos pi over 4 plus i sine of pi over 4 so now we got an equivalent um, way to write the same root so now we can write our equation as a n is equal to a of r1 to the power of n plus b times r2 to the power of n as a times square root of 2 times cos negative pi over 4 plus i sine of negative pi over 4 all of that to the power of n plus b times the square root of 2 times cos of pi over 4 plus i sine of pi over 4 okay so this is the another way of writing this formula here Okay, so what we want now is to get rid of this i and oops, and that i over here. And we need to find a and b. So we need to do four things. Alright, I'll stop here so I wouldn't get over the 10 minute limit. And um, we'll continue this in the next video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you then.